long time ago, uh, roughly, I want to say eight, nine years ago, my mom and I were on a show and he came into our truck, into our food truck with his backpack on, which is not allowed. <laughs> so right away I had like this funny disdain with him because <laughs> he was not supposed to do that. Um, I didn't really like him at first, but then once I kept seeing him more and more, every day every show we did together, he was always there. Certain groups I started hanging out with, he'd pop up. He just kept appear, reappearing in my life over and over again until uh, one day I was like, you know what? They're, he's here for a reason, so I'm going to get to know him. And we, we've been inseparable ever since. We like to be in the, in the bush with our dog. Before COVID, it was traveling. We like to be out in the, amongst the trees, by the water. So it's calming back there, it's healing. So one of my favorite places. Uh, my favorite experience was when he took me to the ocean for the first time. I've never been, and we went to Mexico for a week, and he took this really great blurry picture, but it's such a great picture of my feet hitting that, hitting that bush for the first time, and I cried, and he said, it's okay. <laughs> Mike proposed to me, um, but I was really close to, to ask him because he was taking too long. <laughs> so uh, it was Christmas morning and he came out of his office with a GoPro on. And I was like, wearing a GoPro on your, on your forehead. <laughs> and he presented me with this beautiful gift as a black box with ribbons. Because you laugh when you get mad. When I wrap my arms around you, suddenly we just uh, Michael. <laughs> um, and you, I found the love of my life, my closest, truest friend. Do you think about traveling and growing old? Put a couple of fences up so dogs don't escape. Well, Cindy and I worked in film together, and uh, that's how we met one another. Uh, although we had an opportunity to begin to develop our friendship at her mom's birthday, which was held in the backyard. I love to go for bush rides with her. I like to go out and just have a beer at the corner pub. And I absolutely love traveling with her. We go camping every weekend and every, every opportunity that I get to spend with her is just as great as the last. Cindy says she knew from the minute she met me that I was gonna be the guy. Cindy, I'm going to love you for the rest of my life. I can't even convey, there are no words to tell you how much I love you, so I'm just gonna go on proving it forever.
like a river flows surely to the sea darling so it goes some things are meant is there someone present who gives this woman to this man in marriage well here you go dear this is the guy of your life take good care of her and Love you both. Okay, no, you're crying. Darling, so it goes. Some things are meant to be. Take my hand. Take my whole By the power vested in me, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. I can never be loved. waited for so long but what if it goes wrong and you walk right out that door i never thought i'd be speaking words like these but they're hanging on my ear. i can never be So if you don't know who I am, or Cindy, you probably shouldn't be here. <laughs> so for everyone who's still here, I have never in my entire life felt so loved as I do it in this moment. With all of you people who came together to celebrate our love, and that means so much to me, I can't even tell you. So cheers yourself. So we kind of wrote like a little speech, but my five hour sleep last night <laughs> grabbed a recipe for some really awesome cookies. So, <laughs> um, you know, there's, there's no words, there's not enough words in, in the language, in the English language to thank everybody here. Um, right from, from our bartenders to the cooks to Dan to my parents to our wedding, our fucking beautiful wedding party. Y'all rocking your suits, by the way. Girls, yeah. Give a big hand for the wedding party. Big hand. There's been an obscene amount of people that have just surrounded us and have never stopped, never, never once complained, never once, they just showered us consistently with love. And those are the best people that you want to have in your life. That they're, that it's consistent, the love is there, it's always there. Our videographer, our photographer, our, our, our officiant, our DJs, everybody, really, truly, we are super grateful for all of you. We love you all very much, and uh, I think we're going for a beer soon, and then we're gonna come back and get this party fucking started. Love you all, cheers! <laughs> <laughs>